Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's Toolbox Safety Topic video. Before we get started, make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos this type. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find additional videos of this nature, other safety related videos and leadership training videos. And also if you find this information helpful or useful, make sure you share it with your friends and colleagues. Well, let's go ahead and get started with this week's Toolbox Safety Topic video. This week's topic is Dropped Objects Hazards. Working construction jobs can pose some pretty serious injury or fatality risk and property damage potentials. Very often the risk is for the innocent person who is in the wrong place at the wrong time. It is very important to always wear proper safety protection and hard hats when you are in a construction zone with people working above you. There are many reports from the Bureau of Labor Statistics dating back to 2016 stating that there were 255 fatalities caused by objects falling from above and striking a worker. 50,000 workers estimated by OSHA are hurt by falling objects at construction sites. The item that is harming people doesn't have to be a large item. That is why it's important to always wear protective gear. Something as small as a bolt can cause injury or damage. Now how do we avoid falling objects? There are some precautions that you can take when working in a construction zone to help reduce the risk of items falling. Falling objects can do a lot of harm to people or cause property damage. Taking the right action to protect people and be as safe as possible is, a, is vital. Here are some helpful ways to be more aware and proactive on the construction site. Wear the correct PPE. Certain areas may require more protection than others do, but knowing the correct PPE for your work is important. Use engineering controls. Some construction sites should have certain areas that are off limits. These areas of the site that are considered high risk for items falling and people getting hurt. The right type of barricades or taping should be used to make sure no one mistakenly crosses into that space. There are safety precautions that can be taken to the high levels where these workers will be working in, such as tow boards, safety nets, tethers, and anchors in the necessary areas. This way, falling objects will have less of a chance of striking someone or causing property damage below. Not to mention breaking the equipment that is dropped as well. Try to eliminate hazards. When the worker is working at elevated levels and using tools that have the potential of falling, they should be removed from the area when they're finished with. Never leave tools that are not needed anymore lying around. This is just setting a stage for items to be kicked or pushed off. When workers are finished with the tools and materials that they are using, they should be properly stored and put away. This is one way to cut down on a lot of injuries or fatalities from happening. If there is a way that you can easily keep people safe, you should take advantage of the opportunity. Taking the responsibility is needed to be safe on the job site is very important for everyone. PPE is one of the most important things that you can do to help prevent injuries. This small step can make a difference. Let's talk about some objects that could fall. When you think about objects falling and causing a fatality or injury to people below, you think about the larger material or tools, but that's not how it works. Many times injuries and fatalities can be caused by most simple and small objects. It all depends on where, how, and the speed at which it hits someone. Some things that have been known to cause harm are drills and drill bits, 
screws, screwdrivers, hammers and nails, scaffolds, paint cans, ladders, boards, power tools, saws, personal items on the worker, and personal drinks or cups of the workers. Yes, fatalities can occur from some of these things, even something as small as a screw. There is the chance of an injury to anyone who is below the worker. The injuries can be endured can range from minor to severe, causing such harm as broken bones, bruises, lacerations, cuts, back injuries, neck injuries, sprains, fractures, permanent damage, concussions, brain injuries. So be observant. While working on a construction site, it is very important that you are observant of what and who is around you. The tools that are out and not being used, the people who are beside or beneath you, and the major equipment that is running are all potential risk when not using caution. A lot of accidents can be avoided when responsibility and caution are put first. If you see a tool or a piece of equipment lying out that could possibly fall or be tripped over, pick it up and move it. If you see a hazard in someone's way, do what you can to speak up, even if you think that it is a small risk or small problem. These can only lead to bigger ones down the road. All right, boys and girls, that's it for this week's Toolbox Safety Topic video. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find additional videos of this nature, other safety related videos, and leadership training videos. And be sure to share this if you find this information useful or helpful with your friends and colleagues. And until we see each other again, take care of yourself because you're number one. Look out for your co-workers and help ensure their safety. Have a grateful day. And remember, I will see you in the field. All right, it's hot and sweaty in here and had to turn the AC off so I could record. But anyway, if you watch to the very end, I'll leave some of those things at the end. And uh, as always, if you have any comments or if you have any questions or concerns, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll either answer you directly or I'll, or I'll make a video about your concerns And because if you've got a concern, believe me, somebody else has the concern as well. Anyway, have a grateful day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the field. Stop recording.